So my head gasket on my 2010 Toyota Prius uh, shit out on me. So I ended up needing to get either that repaired, rebuilt, or swap it out for another used engine. I ended up getting it swapped out for another used engine. And uh, one of the things that weren't included were fuel injectors and the engine coils. Seeing as how my vehicle has 203,000 miles, uh, I decided to buy some engine coils and try switching them out myself. My experience level is pretty much zero with cars. I've done a couple oil changes on a uh, 98 CRV when they had it at the time. So uh, yeah, they quoted me, I think around a thousand dollars for this and the fuel injectors. I ended up buying the parts and the tool set for $200 and uh, let's see how easy it is. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. So, so far with the update on this, taking off the wiper blades and all the wiper assembly following the A1 Auto video. And so far it's been pretty easy and um, not too bad. So I've already taken off the wiper assembly and everything. It was pretty easy. It took me less than 20, 20 minutes to do everything already got into the engine coils and I've already unbolted everything so let's take them out and see what they look like on a two, 203,000 mile engine. I do have these brand new ones, well new to me but they're used as well. They came off of a 40,000 mile vehicle so let's get them installed. Well, let's put the new ones in. It took me about an hour to complete this and uh, honestly it was pretty easy for it being my first time doing any type of work on my car besides an oil change here and there. As you guys probably heard that, it still does the rough cold start I guess. So maybe my ignition coils weren't the problem. So getting cylinder one and cylinder two misfire, uh, P301, 302, and P300, which just means multiple cylinders. 301 means cylinder one, 302 cylinder two. My fuel injectors came in. They were supposed to come in on Monday, but uh, came in a little early. So let's do the second part already. So I've taken off already the engine cover, the uh, air filter box as well, and whatever that is, the thing that attaches to it. So all this is cleared. I believe this is the manifold, but uh, trying to get to these pieces here essentially. So let's keep going. So I've got in already to the fuel line and a shit ton of, well not a shit ton, but a good amount of gasoline has came out. So. Gotta clean that all up. It smells very heavy, like a, like a gas. But those are all the four holes. These are all the old injectors. Seems like this one is the worst one. But that's also the only different one as well. All these other injectors just look pretty dirty, but nothing crazy. So let's get all the new ones installed and um see see what's up okay all four new injectors are put in plug them all in that's the harness for this other piece here put these two guys back now let's uh put it all back together i accidentally broke a bolt this kind of sucks because i was not careful it's only for this little for like the engine air filter part. So it just holds it down right here. But now the other half of the bolt is stuck inside. So I got to figure out how to fix that eventually. It's all set, put back together. Let's turn it on and let's see if I still get a hard start. That's not good. Huh, okay, I think I figured out why I made that code. Uh, I forgot to plug something in, so let's hope that that's exactly what it was. So let's turn it on and pray that I got this right, please.
Okay, so I do have the check hybrid light on, which the hybrid system. So I'm gonna clear the codes and see if that gets, and I'm gonna turn on the car again and see if that gets rid of it. So I just cleared all the codes using my little handy dandy OBT, OB, oh fuck, can I speak? OBD2 port. And uh, I'm gonna turn, I just turned off my car. Let's go ahead and turn it on again. Okay, no codes. What about the start of the engine? Can you hear anything? Uh, success for right now. I don't hear anything bad. Again, usually the problem for me is a cold start, like first thing in the morning. Uh, but right now it didn't make the crunch that it normally does. And, um, yeah, I'm going to drive it for a little bit right now. And then for the next couple of days and hopefully I fix my problem and save myself a couple hundred bucks. So yeah. So here I am a month later after doing the repairs myself and, uh, everything's working fine. Again, it's been a month. I've had no issues with cold starts and uh, it was all relatively simple to do myself and not really worry about messing up my car. So uh, yeah, if you guys are having the same problem, these are some things to consider. Again, it's kind of hard to diagnose because a lot of things could be the issue. However, for me, the fuel injectors and the engine coils were the issue so give that a try it's relatively cheap if you're doing it yourself and as somebody who has no car experience it was quite easy to do just had to buy a tool set because i didn't have one previously and uh yeah if you have any questions and you're going through the same thing comment down below and i'll see if i can help with anything re and related to that but until then catch you guys in the next video